Hi friends, welcome to this uh, Cucumber tutorial part 1 by Softforced. So in this tutorial we will uh, uh, briefly look at the uh, introduction to the Cucumber then we will also look at how to install the Cucumber in IntelliJ IDEA, how to add the dependencies, how to create the feature files using the Gherkin syntax, then how to execute sample uh, Cucumber test in the IntelliJ idea and also tag the scenarios and also uh, we will look at the cucumber options as well so this is, will comprise the part one so let us start right away so here is the IntelliJ idea and uh, I created Maven project in here so once the Maven project is ready what you can do is you can go to this pom.xml file and add this all dependencies all these are required so starting with JUnit you need this chain dependency to write the chain tests then uh, this is the core dependency uh, sorry this is cucumber chain dependency to integrate the cucumber with JUnit this is required and this is selenium dependency if you want to write selenium tests using cucumber you can use this dependency and finally we have this dependency this is the core dependency cucumber dash java to write the step definitions and finally we have this pico container this is optional but uh, it is recommended to use this dependency so that you can uh, later on use the like share the data between different uh, step definition classes so once you add these dependencies also make sure that in uh, your uh, IntelliJ settings uh, that plugins are installed for the cucumber so there are two plugins that you have installed so by default these are installed but you have to make sure that they are already installed sometimes they are not installed by default so this cucumber for java this uh, plugin is required and similarly gherkin plugin is required as well so that you will be able to write the feature files using the advanced suggestions so after that in a normal uh, maven project you will uh, have this directory structure source test java and source test resources so normally uh, uh, we put our uh, feature files in the resources so in the resources we have to uh, put the feature files now here is the sample feature file now this feature file in the cucumber is written using the gherkin syntax so gherkin is the nor uh, dsl uh, like normal uh, in language uh, sy syntax i mean we can uh, write in uh, this uh, test steps in the simple words and uh, Gherkin allows you to write the steps in English language or any local language like actually regional language across the world like German or French in that language you can write the steps ste uh, steps in the feature file so here over here I have written the steps using the English language and a feature file uh, starts with the, this keyword feature and then uh, we can give the description of that feature and uh, each feature file can have one or more scenarios and each scenario has multiple steps any scenario can have a uh, name that is optional but and uh, we can also tag the scenarios as well like uh, this uh, the uses of this tag will be uh, told later on so similarly we can tag the features as well once you are uh, you created the feature files you can just uh, right click on that uh, feature file and then execute your steps just right click and then click on run scenario or the create scenario so once you uh, run the scenario if the step definitions are not written you will uh, get the errors for example we do not have the step definitions for these steps so if I execute this scenario Cucumber will auto generate the steps for you which you can copy and paste into the uh, step definition class so over here you are getting the error this is expected error because we haven't defined those steps so here th it has created the sample code snippets which you can copy and then paste it uh, into the your test definition classes so test definition classes uh, should reside in this directory source test java and here you can create a package or you can directly put it into the class so over here i have got some step definition classes so you can just copy those um, snippets and paste it over here and once you have done that 
those step definitions uh, once you implement that steps you can uh, run this scenario and then uh, that scenario will be executed so I'm go just gonna run this scenario so once you run the scenario sometimes what happens is uh, you get the error saying that uh, there is empty suit or the it doesn't find the uh, scenarios or the future files or step definitions so what you have to do is uh, for that you have to go to the configuration of this scenario and then over here in the glue ensure that uh, the step definition class package name is mentioned over here for example my step definition class is in this package org.softpost so that's why I have given the glue as, as org.softpost and in the features you have to give the full pa uh, path of the feature file and then it will work properly so that's how you can uh, like configure your uh, tests cucumber tests and that is another uh, one way to execute the cucumber tests another way to execute the cucumber tests is using the jnit cucumber class like you can use the run with annotation of the jnit and uh, pass the cucumber dot class over here we can also pass the cucumber options in here in the cucumber options we can pass the features like which feature we want to execute we can give the full path of the uh, feature file from here starting from the source test or you can also uh, directly give the class path colon name of the file then in the glue as I said earlier we can give the package name for our test uh, definitions reside and we can give the tag names as well like earlier I said that a feature file can uh, the scenarios in the feature file can be tagged so those tags can be put over here like if you want to execute only the critical scenarios you can put the add tag and then those scenarios will be executed only finally we can also execute uh, see the plugins as well so the plugins allow you to create the reports of the cucumber execution so html plugin means html report will be created here i have passed multiple uh, plugins but they are not required actually this one is sufficient which creates the html report and this uh, dry run these options are also available there which are optional uh, I'll just quickly tell you the meaning of this dry run is equal to false it means that we are actually going to execute the steps we if we pass it to as a true if you make it true it means that none of the steps will be executed it will just uh, check that if the step definitions are ready or not then monochrome false true this is required when we want to uh, like uh, when we are using this uh, cucumber through the command line if you want the colored output we can make it as a uh, monochrome uh, we can make monochrome as false so if you want black and white then we can uh, put it uh, this we can pass the value true to this monochrome then a strict is equal to true it means that that is uh, if any step definition is not defined then uh, and the strict tag is true it means that that test will ma will be marked as failed so when uh, strict is equal to true that means all the step definitions has to be in place none of the uh, steps in the feature file should be undefined and if it is uh, false it means that the if a particular scenario has say 10 steps and uh, one of the steps is not defined in that case the rest of the steps that are defined will be executed and other steps will be marked as ignored and the test will be marked as passed in the snippets uh, we can give the snippet type as camel case or the underscore that means uh, like earlier I showed you how to uh, how the uh, cumber creates the code snippets so in that the method name uh, convention how, how, what should be the method name convention in that snippets so camel case means that underscores will not be used it will create the uh, step definitions using the camel case letters and I just executed this uh, particular test and then let us see the report using this uh, symbol you can export the report and then view the report that is created by the uh, plugin cucumber plugin in the IntelliJ but as you can see it is saying the feature then scenario in that feature and it also gives the times uh, that was required to execute that uh, scenario so that's all about uh, how to uh, create sample feature file write step definitions and then execute the uh, scenarios or the cucumber feature file in uh, java in intellij and you can also uh, execute the 
maven goal against it like if you want to execute this test my test dot java you can pass it like that and then execute it so once you execute that particular uh, test it creates the uh, reports as i said here in html plugin we have specified this path as the uh, path where the report will be stored in the target directory so after the test execution is completed i will show you how that report looks like so it is uh, trying to run the tests but i'm going to stop it and i will directly take you to the reports generated target so these are the reports uh, that were created earlier in the serenium reports you will find a such file called as index.html and then if you open that in the default browser it will display you how that report uh, sample report looks like so right now it is empty because uh, we haven't executed anything so let me quickly create one selenium report or my test short java okay it is gonna execute the test so let us try to run that test again because uh, it will run only one test so here it is executing uh, one simple test where it will uh, go to the website called as www.softpost.org and then it will check the title of that page so the test execution is completed and if you go to the reports now and open that here is the sample report so this is the test has failed it has also taken the screenshot as well so that's how we can uh, execute these steps uh, selenium, uh, selenium uh, tests as well in the cucumber so this is all about the part one in the next part what we are going to see is that we are going to see uh, different different uh, how to pass the scenarios uh, like parameters to the scenarios then how to uh, tag the scenarios how to use the name option then uh, how to pass the data table and then what are the backgrounds outline multiple feature files all these things we are going to see in the next part thanks for watching this video hi friends if you find this video useful please hit like button and for more videos please subscribe to my channel and also visit www.softpost.org for more tutorials and updated videos thanks for watching my video